What up, guys? I'm recording. That's what's up. This is MC Crowdaddy Pizza Supreme, and I'm chilling here uh, trying to put together an episode of Z Camp TV. Uh, Z Camp holds a super special place in my heart, and uh, it's something that's beyond uh, music or a band or a group of bands, um, even a family of people to me. Like, uh, for me, Z Camp is uh, the path the pathway to heaven or what we want to, to build is heaven uh, I guess uh, to not define it so much for those that are non-spiritual or non-religious uh, the pathway to enlightenment um, the the way the way to uh, that place that we're all trying to achieve uh, the key the key to life you know uh, the answer to life you know and for me uh, Z camps that Z camp uh, is something that takes time to understand, you know, because it's not a band, it's not a family, it's not a group of bands, um, it's all of those things, plus this uh, amazing, colorful, pulsing field of energy and light that we all der are derived from, the oneness that we all come from, uh, it, it physically embodied, physically manifested by us, here on this earth it's a way for us to channel like the Christians want to channel their knowledge and spirituality um, into the Bible and into their religion uh, Z camp for me is my religion um, the way that I know this is uh, I have this mother who uh, I was very close to um, I was a drug addict I was on heroin for 12 years and uh, I'm a no-joke drug addict when I play with drugs I play with drugs when I get high I get high and uh, I'm lucky I'm not dead because I have still still this day not that I'm so cool or so awesome met a single person that can hum handle their drugs or alcohol like I can and can't come out as unscathed as I've come uh, and, and I I've attributed that to the fact that I'm not meant to go yet I'm not meant to die yet I've got a mission here on this earth to complete and until I've completed that mission then uh, I ain't going nowhere and my mind's gonna work and my spirit's gonna work because I need those to uh, to accomplish what I'm here to accomplish and I say that about all of you too you know every one of us is here for a purpose you know and uh, my mom was really cool you know I was a really bad drug addict my mom never did drugs never smoked uh, never gambled never partied uh, she was just a, a good mother a good housewife um, and she knew how to love she knew how to love better than anybody I've ever met in my life um, I would she was the type of mom like this that I would call her at 3 in the morning uh, I live in Olympia she lives in Seattle I actually lived further at the time it was about an hour and a half two hour drive for her and I'd call her up and be like hey mom I'm super sick I'm going through withdrawal I need so, some dope so bad like can you please help me out? And my mom would, uh, she was always poor, man. If she had to, she'd sneak some money out of her boyfriend's wallet and she'd drive all the way to, to Olympia in the middle of the night and uh, sit in parking lots for hours um, waiting for me to get my dope. And, uh, and that's a lot, you know. She never wanted to see me on that, that stuff. And, and I remember getting my drugs and um, sitting in the bathroom at the end of all that hours after she got there and uh, she'd be tired I'd be tired and I'd be shooting up and she'd be like you know uh, crawdad I, I hope you're not using a needle like uh, just smoke it or something I don't want you sticking needles in you and I'd lie to her I'd be like oh no no mom man I'm just smoking it and she'd be like okay okay and I knew she knew that I was lying but it's just my mom and, and she sat on the other side of the bathroom door and she'd finally be able to talk to me because she knew I got my fix and she starts saying things like, so uh, what are you going to do today? Uh, I wish you'd get into treatment soon. Uh, are you going to try and get a job? Or, Well, how are the kids doing? How's Kel doing in school? You know, I worry about him. And, you know, she just uh, not lecture me or hate on me or be mad at me. She just loved and supported me all the way through, you know. And uh, hella cool mom. And this is my point. She was she she held a huge role in my life, you know. She was a big deal to me, and uh, I've always considered myself uh, a a blessing to myself, but a blessing to this earth. Like uh, I'd never want to call myself a prophet, but I've had visions that Moses would be jealous to write down. Believe that, you know. Uh, 
I've tapped into the other side and I've seen God, you know, and, uh, and my mom was a huge part of my life. And like I said, I feel like I'm here for a purpose. And then all of a sudden this cornerstone to my reality, this cornerstone to my understanding is gone. You know, she dies, uh, a cancer. It took about a month at age 50. Never did drugs, never party, nothing, you know. Uh, some of us drug addicts, we live to be 80, you know. And my mom just got a bum rap. So 50 years old, you know, I, I lose my mom. I'm, I'm 30 at the time, and, and it upset me really bad. So I remember I'm standing over a grave, 3 in the morning. It's a fresh grave, you know, and she'd just been put in the ground. And it's... Uh, beautiful night, full moon, stars are out, clouds are out, it's a gorgeous night, and I start praying over top of her grave, and I say, hey mom, it's going to fill this hole that you left behind, like how am I going to live on this earth without you here, like, I don't think I can handle that, like, how am I ever going to like, fill this emptiness that I feel when I realize I don't have you, when I have to live every day without you? Now let me skip around a little bit. Pizza T's a school teacher. Now he goes to bed like 10 o'clock at night. He's got to get up early and go teach school. And, and he, he's, he's in bed early. He gets up early. And, uh, and I'm praying to my mom, hey, you know, uh, how am I going to fill this gap? And she says, Z Camp. I'm in Z Camp. I'm part of Z Camp. I'm just on the other side doing some stuff for you guys. And Z Camp's special, God had Z Camp's bigger than, than me. Like, Z Camp will beyond fill the hole that I left behind. Z Camp will bring you to me. Z Camp will bring you to the light at the end of the tunnel. This is my mom who I regard very highly. So don't think I sit there at night making shit like this up. I'm telling you a story that means a lot to me. So my mom tells me this. And just then the phone rings. Three in the morning. Pizza T's on the phone. Now this guy sleeps. And he's like, Crawdad, you know, uh, I couldn't sleep. Um, I'm calling you up, man. Uh, I'm excited about Z Camp and the things we're doing. Now Pizza T had left Olympia. He had left Z Camp behind. Z Camp was no more. He gave away all his t-shirts. He threw his last show. Z Camp was done. Me and him start talking about it a little bit and saying, no, it can't be done. It means too much. We just met. And so Pizza T's calling me, and he says, Crawdad, I don't know what this connection is between me and you, but you're with me all the way through. Like, you're side by side with me from start to finish. Like, you're my partner, homie. And I knew that that was confirmation that my mom, of all things, she's going to tell me to fill this gap in my life. That, that was confirmation that, that, that Z camp, you know, Pizza T's not up at no three in the morning calling me just then at the end of my prayer, you know. I've had many experiences like this with Z camp, many, many, you know. Uh, Z camp's what I, it's my heartbeat, you know, it's my soul. Uh, Pizza T's my guru, he's my shaman. Uh, I believe in the oneness, you know. I believe we're all one, we're all interconnected, interwoven. The way that I put it, nobody's taught me this, the way that I put it in the English language and channel it to you is this. I'm an omnipresent being. I'm in all things, at all places, at all times. I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing, exactly when I want to be doing it, exactly how I want to be doing it. This is my perfect plan, perfectly, flawlessly put into motion. I can't fuck it up. Start to finish, I get there. This is accomplished. This is a happening, not some chronological order of events just because we believe time is real. That's real because we live and die. But in our eternal, never began, never end self, time is an illusion. Just like up, down, left, right. It's a perception. We're standing on the side of the earth right now. How can you say up, down, left, right when there's no center point to start from? Because we're floating in the middle of this void, in the middle of this universe. So up, down, left, right is an illusion that we have uh, created in this manifestation. And so I believe in the all oneness, that we are interwoven amongst each other, that we come from one mind, one brain, one God, 
and that were broke up into a whole bunch of little pieces separated by these bodies into physical form. And that this is our dream. This is our creation. This is our attempt at it. We never created before. So to say it's good or bad, that's your own perspective. But I wrote perspective, motherfuckers. You wrote perspective, motherfuckers. Be talking to me right now. Thank you for creating me. Because if I believe we're all one, I'm your toenail. Can I please be your toenail? That's why karma works, dog. Stab yourself in the arm, you're going to feel pain. You put a coat on, you're going to feel warm. Now, if you're my arm and I stab you, I'm going to feel that pain. If you're cold and I put a coat on you, I'm going to feel warm. Because I just stabbed myself. No, no, I just put a coat on myself. Work for that side of karma. I just put a coat on myself so now I'm warm. And that's why, you know, Jesus taught things like love one another, turn the other cheek, judge not lest you be judged. Because, yeah, you're literally judging yourself, homie. Do not create these perceptions and restrictions on reality that don't exist outside of your own head. Do not create up, down, left, right if you don't have to. I laugh with Pizza T's flat earth thing. I put Pizza T on a throne, uh, my guru, you know. So if he wants to create a flat earth, then, then let it be flat. It probably is flat now because guess what? Pizza T said it. Let there be light. That's how deep I think the rabbit hole goes. So I pray to my mom and she says, Pizza T, Z camp, go with this. And this will this will take care of this will take care of you. This will fill that hole. So I look and, and I come to know Pizza T and, and I, I say, okay, well, if this is my creation, I don't want that responsibility. I don't want to have to be responsible for this creation. So who's gonna be my savior? Where's Jesus at? God, if you're this big booming voice that spoke in all existence, then will you speak to me? Because I shouldn't have to hear this whisper. I can see, taste, touch, feel, smell everything around me. But I got to listen real close for you? Like, see, I can't handle that sometimes. So he spoke. Don't get me wrong. You have spoke. Thank you for speaking to me. I think when you talk to yourself, you know it works. You're talking. And so anyways, I've chose pizza tea. To kind of sit on that throne, man. I'm not saying he's our savior, but he's my guru, dog. And so, you know, like, I look at him and I look like, man, this guy throws the best parties. He's a rock star from hell. That motherfucker can play a beat. Take you to another level, trance you out. But he's a school teacher. He's raising his kids. He's got his family. He can wear a suit and tie like no other. He'll DJ weddings, you know, like, and I see my son, I see me as, as, an, as an alcoholic partying, uh, drug addicted, yay, yay, motherfucker over the years. And think, man, if I was going to do it right, if I was going to be this psychedelic dude, like this rock star, if I was going to throw cool shows and, and live that party lifestyle and be that alternative artistic hippie, man, I want to do it like Pizza T did it. Not only that, like I got my boy, you know, some of you may know him, they call him Microbot. He wears the Jambot suit. Um, I want my boy to, to, to role model Pizza T. Like, yeah, let's, boy, let's, let's party all day, man. Let's party like rock stars. But let's do it with style, dog. Let's take care of our bodies, minds, and spirits. And let's be uh, incorporated into this society around us so that we can make a difference. Because if this is us, if, this, if we're all one, then until we're, like, proactive in this, then nothing's going to change. Because you gotta wash yourself and take a shower, motherfuckers. You know, you gotta get dressed every day. And so if I just leave society be, I'm not clothing myself and I'm not washing myself. So I think to myself, like, this whole uh, degenerate way of thinking, like, oh, uh, fuck the police and total anarchy. And yeah, you know, there's a time and place for all that. But the fact is, is we need some kind of infrastructure based on love. That'd be hella cool. And so we've made mistakes in this attempt at creation that we're doing, you know. And I think that there's a there's a road out, there's a way out. I wouldn't call it exactly out, because without those mistakes, how would we have perspective on even how to write a definition of heaven? But I have uh, gotten to know Pizza T, and I've gotten to know his band over years, over years. You know, I'm 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 head of the Jam Bits, man. I, that's my band, and I'm one of the few Z Camp bands still in existence. You know. And I'll always be there. And not only that, I'm Pizza T's number one fan. Obviously, you hear the things come out my mouth. Ain't gonna be uttered by no other motherfucker but me. You know, like, I'm, I'm a big fan, you know. Um, 
and so I've taken and uh, and I've been gone for a little while like you forgive me I skip around a little bit like usually I'm engaged in conversation with somebody when I get really going on some of the Z camp stuff and so it just jots things in my head and so when it's me sitting here by myself you know I got jotting myself but anyway enough of that so a lot of things have happened over the years um, I've gotten really involved with Z camp and I've seen some amazing things I've seen some things that scared me and I've seen some things that worry me, and there's been moments that I thought, oh, man, is this a joke? And I just keep getting these, these experiences, this confirmation that, no, nah, this is no joke. Uh, one time I was in, in prison, and I was in a cell block where it's just full lockdown, like solitary confinement. They have one trustee that goes out and cleans out and about, and I'm sitting on my bunk, and I got this music playing, and I'm sitting there and I'm meditating, and uh, I'm meditating on this Bible story where this blind man meets Christ and Christ heals him. And I meditate and I decide to uh, be the blind man and to walk up to uh, to Christ and ask him to heal me. It was not my sight that needed healed. My soul needed healed. And so I walk up to my Savior and I say, will you please heal me? And in that moment, I have this flash vision, a flood of information. And it was all the moments and times and music that I've shared with Zekan. And I realize what I've seen and my soul is full. And it's healed. The Z Camp's doing that for me. And I think to myself, I win. I'm sitting in a jail cell, locked down, like, but I win. And then all of a sudden it dawns on me. I plugged my my 16-year-old boy into a robot suit and sent him dancing out amongst the crowd all night. And he's plugged in as the jam bot, as the dancing robot in Z Camp which is going to be the biggest, best, most blow your mind, melt the colors all into one and restructure reality as we know it, band that you've ever seen in your entire life. I plugged my boy in at 16 years old into that as the dancing robot. Hella, I win. And so I jumped off my bunk and this song starts playing and it says, we win, we win, we win, we win, and we win. We win, we win, we win, we win, and we win. And I'm like, oh no, this is too trippy. And I'm shadow boxing around. I win, motherfuckers. And it dawns on me all of a sudden. Is it okay to put pizza tea, put Z camp up there in the same bracket as Jesus? Like when I, as the blind man in my meditation, went and saw my Savior and he said, you're healed. I, he healed me with Z camp? And just then, that trustee, the only guy that's out and about mopping, <clears throat> he yells down the tear, Tommy, hey Tommy, and that's Pizza T's name, Tommy, Tommy, and I just said, is it okay, and all of a sudden Tommy's name, and the song We Win's being played when I thought we win, and I'm having this flash flood of Z camp, and, and I'm hearing Tommy, Tommy, come on man, that ain't no coincidence, that ain't no chance, like that was saying, yeah dude, your mom was telling you some shit, and that's why I loyally, I know that if I, if I mess anything else up in my life, it can, can never be Z Camp, because Z Camp is my ticket out. It's my ticket there. It's my it's my express pass. And so, me as in my band, uh, Z Jam Bits, uh, we try to take, and take all the Z Camp music that gets made and has been made and uh, mix it down to some dub and some trance and some techno and some funky delic you don't even know what to label it it's just C camp pizza tea yeah yeah in the house all day every day jam it some shit and we melt it down and uh, when we throw these shows um, I personally and I know pizza tea is aware of what, what I'm trying to do and what he's trying to do is, uh, is try to connect us all 
um, and get us all on this level where instead of being separate entities for a little while, we can come collect as the one consciousness that we are and move to the beat together and dance to the beat together and sway to the beat together. And as we do that, through the music, through the sounds, through the vibrations, and through the kinetic energy of us as a group like that, open a vortex, a hole in time and space. I told you time don't exist. And we're spiritual creatures in physical form. But let's open a little vortex where we're a little bit of all that. A little bit of timeless eternal being. A little bit of omnipresent. I'm in all things, out of places, out of times. Boom. I am that vibration coming out of that guitar right now. Open this little channel, this little hole in time space where we can all celebrate and connect as one. Well, me as my band Jam Bits, what I like to do is I like to take all these different sounds and styles that Z-Camp plays and mix them together and grab my audience's attention one by one. So there's a lot of personalities out there. Maybe I grab your attention because something I just played drove you nuts. Or maybe I just grabbed your attention because something I just played blew your mind and you loved it. But I still got your attention. And once I have everybody's attention, I want to mix it now and fire every synapse in your brain. Take all the music that I've been playing that night and conglomerate it into a... But it works. Home. And then bring you to that centered state of oneness in that vortex, that hole in time and space. And when we're there, let's party. Now, this is what I want it to lead to. Where we melt all the colors to one. Where we as a unified people make an agreed decision that reality's pretty good, but we can do this better. And the sounds and vibrations, the voice of God, he spoke it, he said, let there be like the voice of God that originally set this all into motion, resembling those sounds and vibrations, replay it play those sounds and vibrations and melt this all into one and while we're playing it to a funky beat with some rhythm restructure matter itself into the reality that we want to be into the heaven that we want to create and you know who I want to, to do that Z camp pizza T pizza T can play a guitar riff that will take you what I want to do is I want to take and, as a collective, go out there and gather information and bring it back to the hive, which is Z-Camp. When we take all that information and process it and turn it into sound, then we'll have the keys to, to channel uh, the power to structure and restructure matter itself. I've seen us play with it. It shows. I've seen amazing things. It shows just like when you see... When your mom tells you Z camp and Tommy calls in the middle of the night. Just like uh, when you have a guy yelling down the tear, Tommy, Tommy, when you just jumped off your boat and started punching around. Just like putting a robot suit on my son. What a gift, man. Pizza team made that suit years ago. That suit is a vortex. If you've ever had the honor of dancing in that suit, if you're gentle, if you're cool, and you're one of the family, never be shy to ask old Microbot, hey, can I try the suit? I've spent many time, I've spent time with him, his friends, my friends, uh, with that suit laid down and just put touch in it, put energy into it and saying, let this be a vortex, let it wash you clean, let it take you there, let it be a channel to take other people there, let it bring out your funkity funk, 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 and I'm telling you what, you can be inside that suit dancing and swaying and moving and all they see is a robot moving around, you can be doing the funkiest shit in that suit and all they see is a robot, I'm sure you're giving them some style to that sway. But that suit's a vortex, dog, and, and that my son gets to be in that pizza team made that a long time ago, dude. This ain't my stuff. Z Camp isn't my stuff. It, it's all of our stuff. Pizza T was a kind enough the guru, my shaman brother, was kind enough to create this playground for us, this uh, and these props for us. And you know, we got a floating cupcake. I draw the jam bottle. I'm MC Crawdaddy Pizza Supreme. Like all well, these props we got so much you know to so many themes and he created all this and said hey uh here's a playground for you guys play with it and that's why we z camp is a, is a group of people there's multiple bands you know i'm jambits 
uh, Pizza T has been doing uh, uh, his thing. I don't even know what he's calling it these days. He's calling it awesome stuff. Uh, you got, uh, hold on, I better remember because I'll feel bad if I don't. Pizza T Solo, I believe. And then he's been playing with, uh, well, what's he calling it? Anyways, he's got some virtual drummers. He's got some virtual guitars going in. And I get scared. I was telling you, I get scared. Oh, let me not lose thought too much. That'll happen. I'll go back. I told you I get scared. When Pizza T leaves behind something old and moves to something new, it's like, man, like I, I, I got hooked on the old. And when you, when Michael Merker and Sierra and people like that are involved again, when he's down to just himself and he ain't got a band and he's calling me up saying, oh, yeah, I got a virtual drummer crowd at And I'm like, thinking to myself, man, Pizza T, like, you can't be the one man band, bro. Like, like it's other people's energies and vibrations that, that help make everything awesome. Here, I'll write this down so I remember what I'm going back to. That make everything awesome. Like, I'm scared what he's going to do. And you know what? That motherfucker pulls it off. And he plays me some funky shit. And like this last one, this last show that he played, um, you know, he had the big screen behind him with videos going with his virtual drummers, virtual guitars, and all the psychedelic coming from every direction. And it's just like, dude, like, you know, I told you I've been away for a while. I went to prison for a little bit. Um, but he's doing it. And, and I'm like, man, like, the, this time that I waste away, I look at what he's done with it, and it's video after video after video after show after video after show after art project after art project after art project. I'm still teaching cool. I'm still raising my family. I'm still getting up every day. I'm still making dinner. I'm still, you know, this guy is going. The awesome part is, is he made all this for us, and talk about a support system like we've got so many avenues of support here where I can be jam bits and have nothing and throw one of the coolest in my opinion shows that Z Camp's ever done I think that my concept of what jam bits and bodies and what it's trying to do with the whole vortex melt the colors into one thing I want to open up for some real serious dudes like, like Pete's T the family band now, the family band's amazing, and that's what I was going into, um, to take us there. Because I want to dance for that. When the colors all melt, I want to be dancing. I don't want to be playing nothing. I ain't sitting on no throne pizza tizzle. You sit on it. And you're just the man for the job. And that's what I'm saying, like a worthy man to do it. Like, a, what a family man. What a good dude. Like, you know, my, my role model, my son's role model. Like, if there's anybody that's worthy to bleed the colors into one, and to, and to listen to and to look up to and to put in charge of such a powerful thing as Z-Camp. He's just the man for the job. And, and, you know, like, that's what becomes cool about it is that there's so many of us doing so many different things and so many different styles. But we all get together and we play shows at every show we did. Um, we do. Um, and we're going to do. There's the Z-Camp family band. I said I'm one of the last of the Z-Camp bands in existence. Well, there's been many of you. Any one of you that ever want to come and play with the family band, your family. Any one of you that wants to bring your band up and play with the, and jam with the family band, your family. And so what we do is we take all the bands and all the different groups of people, and we we have a family band where we all jam together, and uh, that's beautiful. And so where Pizza T has left behind some of his other bands and and, and people like Michael Merger because he had to move and and you know. Uh, Danny Kelly and, and things like that where I'm like PCT Sierra you know now you're alone what are you gonna do is this gonna be cool anymore even no he's doing some cool stuff still and then to keep alive the old school to keep alive our, the group the core of us that have always been together we got the family band and so that's what's cool, man. And so melt us, family band, you know. Make sure Pizza T's got a good slot to play some killer ass guitar solos because, you know, it's my favorite part. So we just got done doing a tour. Um, first of all, our next tour is July 29th, I believe. Um, it'll probably be a three-day thing. We'll be here in Olympia somewhere. I'll be playing jam bits. That's what's up. Uh... Family Band will be playing, uh, Pizza T uh, uh, and Eduardo. They've been working on some cool shit. They're the ones that did the, the last shows that 
with the with the virtual drummers and, and you know bass bot and all that cool stuff so they'll be playing and uh man love and support is definitely what we need like uh because if you don't know now you know uh don't get left behind as a matter of fact wait a minute we're all one i can't leave you behind so you better know real soon because i'm tired of waiting for you so anyways uh the last tour went really great uh, I think it was like uh, the first time that a lot of experimental um, music and and musicians and arts and bands have come together to throw a show uh, that was as intricately put together as this one. And I think everything went great. And um, anybody that was expecting to hear Try, Try, Try and the old school shit, uh, you probably actually heard it, Family Band probably played it, but um, no, that's not what it was about. Uh, it was about that we are, through time and space, we're continuing to move forward um, towards this vortex, you know, towards this, this heaven, you know, towards this purpose in our lives. And uh, if my amazing mother told me that this is the way, then trust me, this is the way. This is Z Camp, you know. Uh, like I said, I, I consider Pete's T uh, worthy to sit on the throne as our leader. He has some amazing albums he's produced over the years. Uh, if you want to get caught up on, on what gets me so excited, I, I've got to admit, I'm the first to say that there's a few songs that Pete's T does that drive me nuts that I don't care for. I'll filter through them and uh, definitely get the first three albums. The first three albums will take you to another level. Uh, I can't say there's a... On the I Want to Go album, the first album, I can't say there's a single song on that album that I don't love with all my heart. But, uh, you know, those albums are amazing. Uh, you can go to zcamp.com um, to order the albums at any time. They're all donation basis. Uh, they're well worth $10. I only do $10 for them because when you put them in, um, people are like, holy crap, who is this? This is amazing. Uh, a lot of you that have the albums or don't have the albums, search them on the Internet, uh, you know, that haven't listened to them in a long time. Get back to your roots, man. I know that you think that, you, that you've that you heard it already. Push play and you'll realize, damn, it's been a while since I listened to this. Like, and you'll feel good. You'll feel what I'm talking about. Uh, Z Camp is my everything, you know. Um, it's protected my son from a life of bullshit because that's where he was headed. And now he's a dancing robot with a cool dude like Pizza T to answer to at the end of the day. Um, we You can get the albums by contacting Pizza T directly at uh, Pizza T at gmail.com um, so you know uh, YouTube us uh, enter in Z camp and uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos and those videos will take you to links to all kinds of other videos and you can play for days under that but uh, catch up on what we're doing and know that uh, we're starting from the ground up you know we always have been and that uh, if we can do the things from the ground that we're doing from the ground wait till we're doing them from the air wait till we're doing them from the air so you know like it's just a matter of time wait 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 time don't exist so it's just a matter of oh wait i'm already there waiting for you Psh, done it's a matter of done that we're gonna be on those main stages in those beautiful uh, situations at those great festivals where we all just play with matter time space reality and just enjoy the funkity funk of the dunk dog and you know so let's go home you know like uh Life seems to have gotten a little bit too monotonously monotonous and uh, all about the ant hill and all about a TV set and a computer screen and cell phone. Um, I don't know how much longer that can entertain me. Uh, so maybe we might all think about like uh, going to the next level uh, soon and blasting off, you know. Maybe we might want to melt the colors into one, you know, and so. I think it's headed that direction. I think the music is amazing. I think that the artists that are involved are brilliant. And uh, thank you uh, to uh, Twice Baked and, and Rad and, and, and your, your band, Randy, and all you guys. Like, uh, uh, Thank you so much for uh, your psychedelic uh, it, you know, vibes that you bring to the shows. And uh, so, you know, like, uh, this is Ecamp TV. I feel like I'm rambling and I feel like there's so much I want to talk about. Um, but I think I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to say uh, I love you guys very much. Um, 
I won't tell you what I was arrested for. Uh, I was arrested for a bowl of weed, $50, and one tape statement um, saying I got it from him. I had my medical card and the guy who uh, I gave the weed to. There was no money exchange. The guy I gave the weed to, which was uh, a, little, like, a little less than an eighth, um, had his medical card. Um, Olympia P Police Department, uh, don't get me wrong, I always made my hustles and sold my weed and stuff, and mostly the big things that I was doing was shows. Uh, I was doing big shows, and, and people were loving it, and, and so I had developed like a reputation and a, and a crowd, and, and uh, so mostly what they wanted to shut down was the crowd that I was developing, um, but you can't, I can't stop, I won't stop. And so I got arrested for a very petty amount of marijuana that would have never sent anybody to prison. Um, and I went to prison for it. And uh, whatever the dark side is, the yin, the yang, the light, the dark, the life, the death, you know, call it the de God and the devil, call it the devil, whatever. Uh, it, it's, I'm under attack from it because I know what this is and I know how to, how to fix it and I know where I'm headed. And people like me need to be shut up, you know. Uh, Bob Marley, uh, you know, sh shut up. Anyways, don't get me on all that. And so, you know, like, I'm under attack from the dark side. Um, and so I've been gone for a little bit. Uh, but believe this, like, Jambits goes hard and heavy. And, uh, and it's probably good because... Uh, you know, you guys probably want to, uh, probably blown your minds already by now. So uh, I plan on doing big things with Z-Cam, and um, I'm going to get through this little attack. Uh, I've been on probation. Um, they've tried to, I have tried to follow my probation to a T, um, and they want to take the musician and artist out of me in the hair. And uh, I'm not willing to give those things up. And so I'm in a battle with probation. Uh, they add insane stipulations to my uh, probation and have me jumping through hoops and then two hoops and then light the hoops on fire and jump through them and I mean I'm a grown man and you can only challenge my my spirit so much before I kinda snap and while out so I've been dealing with some heavy stuff with probation I, I know a lot of people on probation that was like oh my probation are so so cool and blah 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 and blah 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 oh, I know guys mine's not mine's not uh, and so uh, I'm dealing with that. I've got four more months left of that, but I just hope that everybody just holds strong and uh, supports what I know to be uh, the pathway to heaven, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, we got a cool leader, we got a cool guru um, who takes the advice of his counsel and, uh, and communicates with his counsel, which is all of us, uh, to lead us cool directions and take us cool places. If you ever need anything from him, then be more than willing to hit him up, you know. Uh, we're on Facebook, uh, hit up Thomas McGoffin on Facebook, hit up uh, Andrew Scott is my, is my God-given name on Facebook, uh, you know, um, get, hit us up on Facebook and, and get invited into Z Camp Chat if you want and uh, just be involved, but um, I'm going to sign off with that and tell you guys I, I love you very much and that uh, the tour, the three-day tour uh, was amazing. Um, I think uh, it, it started in it started in Portland and then it went through to uh, to Shelton. Um, the Shelton Grange was a great show. You know, Shelton, Shelton has a little music scene, man. It kind of surprised me. And then ended off at the Lavoyer downtown Olympia, uh, which next time we need a bigger spot because we blew it up. And uh, I was honored that Pizza T took. Uh, music that he's made and things that he's done and shared them with me and allowed me to uh, to make a name for myself and a band for myself off all of that and uh, help me on, out on stage and uh, I promise bigger and better performances every time here on out and uh, I'm excited um, so that's Sea Camp TV for tonight and I love you guys very much I love you very much Pizza T and uh, all the other pizza brother and sisters out there um, take care of Z Camp it's my baby that uh, should be yours too.